You have tried everything. The expensive skincare, the dermatologist prescribed creams, the miracle acne products. And yet every morning you wake up with a new pimple. This can be frustrating. But what if I told you your acne has almost nothing to do with skincare and the real problem might be inside your gut. Stay with me until the end of the video. You will understand the gut skin axis. Some people say getting pimple means someone loves you. That sounds about right. Just like love, pimples seem to come from deep within. Hello guys, I'm Dr. Pal and today I'm here to talk about the hidden connection between your gut and your acne. By the end of this video, you will not only understand why your gut might be the real problem but exactly how to fix it. Acne is not just about dirty skin or eating too much chocolate. It is an inflammatory condition which means it is deeply connected to what is happening inside your body. Your gut plays a major role in regulating inflammation, digesting nutrients and even controlling your hormones. But when something goes wrong, wrong in your gut, the effect shows up everywhere, including your skin. If your gut bacteria are imbalanced, your digestion is weak, or your gut lining is damaged, your body goes into a state of chronic inflammation. Inflammation is one of the biggest triggers for acne. Your gut, brain and skin are constantly communicating with each other, which is known as the gut-brain-skin axis. And what many don't realize is that this connection is a two-way road. Your gut affects your skin and your skin can also impact your your gut. They communicate through immune, hormonal and metabolic pathways. So when your gut is inflamed, it signals to your brain that something is wrong. Your brain then triggers stress responses and hormonal imbalances. This creates a vicious cycle where stress worsens gut health, poor gut health increases inflammation and inflammation leads to breakouts. One of the biggest gut related causes of acne is damage to the gut lining. Your gut lining is supposed to be like a security gate and allow only nutrients to pass into your bloodstream and keep harmful substances out. But when it gets damaged due to poor diet, stress or antibiotic usage unnecessarily, these toxins and bacteria can escape into your blood. This triggers widespread inflammation especially in your skin and causes acne. If you have ever noticed that eating dairy or gluten makes your skin worse, this could be the reason as it increases food sensitivities. Some foods mess up your gut bacteria and reduces short chain fatty acid production SCFA. These are natural compounds that keep your skin strong and calm. Less SEFAs means more breakouts and inflammation. The gut skin axis is basically your body's internal gossip group. If not treated well, they will leak and blow it out of proportion all over your face. Another major factor is gut dysbiosis, which happens when the bad bacteria in your gut outnumber the good. When the good bacteria thrive, they keep inflammation low and skin clear. But when the balance shifts and the bad bacteria increase, in number, inflammation also increases and acne can flare up. An imbalance in the bacteria on your skin or in your gut can disrupt the healthy balance in both places, which may cause conditions like eczema, psoriasis or inflammatory bowel disease, all the inflammatory conditions. Seeing your acne, if your friend tells you that someone is hitting on you, don't have a dreamy expectation, it could be your gut bacteria eating on your face. Have you ever taken antibiotics and had breakouts? This happens because while antibiotics are great for killing harmful bacteria, they also wipe out the good bacteria in your gut. Without enough good bacteria, your gut becomes more vulnerable to inflammation which can show up on your skin. So use antibiotics very carefully. Another commonly ignored cause of acne is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. SIBO is where bacteria from the colon migrate to the small intestine. This can weaken the gut barrier and trigger inflammation which can contribute to acne. Eating lots of sugary foods and getting acne is not a coincidence. High sugar foods like sugary drinks, pastries and processed carbs spike your blood sugar and insulin levels. This triggers the release of hormone called IGF-1, a hormone that increases oil production and clogged pores. Not just that, sugar also feeds the bad bacteria in your gut, worsening dysbiosis and increasing inflammation. This is why many people who reduce their sugar intake see a huge improvement 
movement in their skin. And then there is stress. You may think stress only causes acne because of hormones, but it actually does something even worse. It directly damages your gut. When you are stressed, your body releases cortisol, which increases gut permeability and alters gut bacteria. You may notice bloating, constipation or digestive issues when you are anxious. And of course, more acne. Food intolerances also play a major role in causing acne. If your body struggles to digest certain foods, they can cause gut inflammation and lead to skin reactions. Many people with acne find that cutting out dairy or gluten dramatically improves their skin. That's because these foods can trigger gut permeability in certain group of patients, disrupt the microbiome and increase inflammation. If you often feel bloated, tired or have digestive discomfort after eating certain foods, your gut might be reacting negatively and your skin is showing the signs. An elimination diet can help identify which foods are causing inflammation. So if you're having acne, try to maintain a food diary. Your skin has a lot of bacteria, about a million in every square centimeter, and even more on oily areas like your face, which adds up to trillions. Since your gut and skin are closely connected, problems in one can easily affect the other. So how do you heal your gut and clear your skin? First, focus on whole nutrient-dense foods that support gut health. Number two, eat plenty of fiber-rich vegetables, fruits and whole grains to feed the good bacteria. Remember the plant points. You need to have at least minimum five different plant points per day. Fruit, vegetable, nuts or seeds will be considered as individual plant point. Number four, include probiotic rich foods like yogurt, kimchi and sauerkraut to replenish beneficial bacteria. Number five, reduce processed foods, sugar and refined carbs that feed bad bacteria and cause inflammation. Number six, manage stress through meditation, exercise and deep breathing to keep your gut skin access balanced. If you have taken antibiotics, restore your gut with naturally available probiotics and prebiotics to rebuild your microbiome. Don't go for synthetic probiotic supplements, it may not help you. If you suspect food intolerances, try an elimination diet to see which food might be triggering your breakouts. Also things like ultraviolet B, sunlight exposure, they don't just affect your skin, they can improve your gut health too. This once again shows how closely your gut and skin are connected. I've seen many patients struggle with acne for years, trying every product out there with little or no success but when we focused on healing their gut their skin is finally cleared up this proves that acne is not just a surface level problem but it is an internal issue that needs to be addressed acne is like your ex you have blocked unfollowed removed but still pops up uninvited. You won't see results overnight, but most people start noticing improvements in just a few weeks. The key is consistency. If your gut is unhealthy, your skin will show signs. Instead of just treating acne from the outside, start focusing on what is happening inside. If you apply turmeric to your face for acne in one hand and eating snacks like french fries with the other, acne never leave. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more science-backed skincare and gut health tips. Stay happy, stay gutsy, may God bless you.